This morning, officers with the Texas State Police are being ordered to take a more aggressive approach to school shootings in the wake of the massacre in Uvalde. Stephen McCraw, the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety, announcing a revision to protocols, writing to employees, officers responding to an active shooter at a school will be authorized to overcome any delay to neutralizing an attacker. When a subject fires a weapon at a school, he remains an active shooter until he is neutralized and is not to be treated as a barricaded subject. McCraw has blamed Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arredondo for the delayed response to May's shooting at Robb Elementary. Officers waited 77 minutes before taking down the shooter. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from entering room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. More than 300 officers with five separate departments responded to the shooting that day. Arredondo, who was fired last month, says he did not believe he was the on-scene commander. Meanwhile, the first day of school nerves were unlike ever before for students at Uvalde, returning to class yesterday for the first time since the shooting. Officers on hand, along with new fencing and comfort dogs for the kids. I am nervous, very nervous. Gemma Lopez was up before the sun, determined to start fifth grade. Just three and a half months ago, she was in the room next door to where the gunman carried out his bloody rampage. I just love school so much. Even if that happened, I would still go to school. Uh, I know it's not going to happen again. Felix and Kimberly Rubio lost their 10-year-old daughter, Lexi, but chose to send their older kids back to Uvalde schools. I think they really needed the routine. None of the schools are safe to me, so we just had to pick one. As for the investigation into the shooting response, five officers with the Department of Public Safety have now been referred to the state inspector general for a formal investigation. Two are suspended. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.